today we'll be discussing the payload capabilities and the aerial photography capabilities of the Blade 200 QX. So to give an overview of the quad, it's distributed by Horizon Hobby and it's one of their hobby grade mid-range quads. It's actually classed as a sport quad um, because of its 3000 kV brushless motors. You don't usually see them in quads designed to just carry, say, cameras. Um, it's more of a sport quad in that respect, but it still is able to lift things like uh, action cameras and that sort of thing. So here are two cameras that the 200QX is able to carry. We have my favourite GoPro out the range, which is the Hero Force Silver with the LCD screen at the back. Um, and we have the Mobius Action Camera that's a lot lighter but records in a uh, lower definition than the GoPro. Also we have the Keychain Camera which I'm sure most of you are familiar with. It's a cheap camera but obviously comes at a lower, a lower resolution compared to the other two cameras. So to compare these two cameras the Mobius action camera comes in at a weight of, I think, between 40 and 50 grams, 43 grams I think it is, and the GoPro I think weighs 88 grams, obviously a tad more because of the LCD screen at the back. Um, the flight time with the 200QX with the Mobius is around 3 or 4 minutes, but with the GoPro is unfortunately only a few minutes. So, depending on what you're looking for, flight time or recording quality, you can decide which of these two cameras is best. The batteries I'm using whilst doing my aerial photography with the 200QX uh, is the Turnergy 800mAh 20-30C dis discharge LiPo battery. Obviously, two cell the same as a stock battery. Gives you a bit more kind of kick in the motors, obviously that bit more payload capability with the 200QX. Um, I'll now go on to showing you how I mount these cameras on the 200QX and how to get the most stable footage when you're recording. So first of all you'll notice that I don't have the battery cover on the underside of the quad. This is because it's easier to remove batteries at a time because if you're using something like the Hero 4 that you get a few minutes flight time out of you might want to take three or four batteries with you which I have. The second thing to notice is the extension I've added onto the legs. Basically what I've done is added a bit of foam board and slotted it between the grooves at either side of the legs, secured it with elastic bands around the main frame of the body and put two strips of elastic band with a sponge to remove as much vibration as possible to fit or accommodate the action camera that I would use at the time. To secure the Mobius action camera to the quad I used the front tape or front elastic band on there and the back one. Also I've added a strip of foam along here to rise the back of the camera up so it's got more of a down angle when it's recording that means you can get more scenery in rather than possibly the tops of the rotors in the in the picture so it's quite a simple way of mounting the Mobius but very effective as well to mount the GoPro to the quad I just use the front elastic band um, and that automatically gives it a tilt towards the floor to give obviously the more scenic feel to the videos that come out also to stop the rotors from being in the picture this does affect the trim of the 200QX obviously because the camera's at the front but it's not hard to give it a bit of rear trim and it easily handles it in that respect so there we are that's how I use the GoPro Okay, so overall, they're my methods of mounting various action cameras to the 200QX. A few problems that people do come across is if you use the GoPro too frequently, then the motors will eventually burn out because it takes at least half to three quarters throttle to hover with the GoPro, whereas only about a third with the uh, Mobius action camera. The Mobius 
will not burn out the motors half as much as the GoPro will because it's well nearly half as light as the GoPro for a start um, so if you want to see some of the footage from the Mobius I've got a few videos already on my channel um, and I hope to be doing a few more possibly with the GoPro in the next few months or so when there starts to be snow on the ground that should look good for some some aerial photography so there we are thanks for watching like and subscribe